I'm thinking today's gonna be a bit different from what we are used to, everyone. For you see, we're not here to simply revisit Gobbler Farms, but to rather share a specific, much improved version of them, suggested specifically by one of you. The Rack reached out to me the other day, and very politely asked if they could shoot me a message about Turkey Farms. And I said sure. And sure enough, what they happened to share piqued my interest. It was a gobbler farm capable of continuous gobbling, and it was one that simply had to be shown to the world. So that is what we are here for today, folks. To talk the pros and cons of gobbler farms in general, and how this new one might just mitigate some of the latter at the end of the day. To fully understand it all, however, I think we might have to understand just how gobbler farms work in general. So let's get to it. But don't fret, if you're new here, they are very, very simple. Go about your business as usual when it comes to digging up resources in the early game with a shovel and get as many berry bushes as you please. Go to transplant them while either planning ahead for a bait pen or by simply planting around one that you've already built and you will have essentially been off to the races with the farm immediately. Fertilize and grow your berry bushes. Proceed to pick them come the morning for a 10% chance to spawn a gobbler per pick bush. Watch as they get attracted to whatever bait is hopefully already in the pen. Finish your harvest and proceed to then kill every single gobbler that has spawned. And you've done it, folks. You've gobbler farmed. And yes, it is indeed as easy as it sounds and looks. Gobbler farms are some of the most efficient food farms in the entire game due to that availability. And with a potential for lots of fruit, fillers, and meat, I would suggest that everyone, no matter who they are playing, mind you, use them to their advantage. But there are some issues here that have always held gobbler farms back. Dusk and nights. For you see, while gobblers technically still spawn from berry bushes come those times, they actually just panic, flee, and return to the nearest berry bush without fail. So this means that if one does want to be the most efficient about both berry harvesting and gobbler murdering within these combined farms, the farm itself must only operate come the mornings. Otherwise, all you're getting is some berry bushes and maybe a dead gobbler here or there. But here's the thing. What if there was a way to eliminate one aspect of all that nonsense? What if we still needed to worry about spawning gobblers in the morning, but didn't actually have to hurry up to kill them before dusk? What if we could have access to easily accessible meat drops, potentially 24-7? And what if I stopped saying what if, if I told you that I was only leaving this last segment in because I'm too excited for Marvel's What If series premiering very soon? Well, ask the question no longer, as but a simple change to how we build these gobbler farms is all it's gonna take to take them to the next level. The concepts are the exact bloody same, only in these quote-unquote new farms, we must now also plan a holding area for the annoying turkeys, essentially. In short, we need to put one more barrier between the gobblers and their homes. There is a problem, though. A gobbler's pathfinding is not going to be our friend. No matter how many paths we have open, or how many doors we put around our farms, some gobblers are just going to be stupid. Period. And there's no natural way around this, really. But I will provide two solutions that help ease any concerns you might have. Before we do so, yes, as long as you follow the basic concept of a holding area, you can build these farms literally however you please at the end of the day. But let us talk them solutions, as trust me, you will need them. One way to potentially lure some stupids is to move your bait around to draw them to different positions within your farms. Easy enough. The problem with this, however, is that it will depend highly on how you have made said farm in the first place. This here is the layout shown to me, and the bait thing only works because we can drop said bait in lower spots within the farm to lure the goblins down to it. But what happens when you get into position where we can't do that because the bait is centralized? Couple that with the occasional problems of pushing mobs within this game, and it's seeming like these new farms aren't going to be worth the trouble at the end of the day. Ah, but that is where solution number two comes into play. It is true. 
Pushing some mobs in this game is an absolute pain. However, lag compensation has a heck of a lot to do with that. So my advice to you is this. When or if you choose to do these farms, be sure to switch the setting to none beforehand. Because if you do so, suddenly pushing any gobblers who have not found their own way into the pen is really, really easy now. Continue to be mindful of the time of day, of course. Continue to push as many gobblers towards the bait as possible. Make sure to close the outside gates before dusk hits, and boom, you have done it. You have made a new and improved gobbler farm with turkey on the menu whenever you please. Well, just as long as there are berry bushes to harvest, of course. But all in all, it's very easy peasy. And again, do not be limited by what you have seen here today with my own takes on the farms or by Rack's original suggestion, of course, because you have leeway here. And that is why I really enjoyed making this video. I have used gobbler farms for years at this point, and I've never really adjusted any of my thinking of them. But with this here today, I have. So all I'm saying is keep an open mind. All that matters is a bait pen and a holding area. That's it. Use whatever walls you want, lay out your bushes as you please, and leave as many pads open as you wish to as well. Heck, you want to get overly fancy with stuff? Then be my guest. Just remember, Two pens instead of one nowadays. Enjoy. But I get the feeling some newbies are watching this. So before we go, one last note. What sort of bait have we been alluding to and actually using here today? Well, in the early game, one can actually just simply use a berry or berries to attract any of the beasts that come from the berry bushes. But if we're talking mob farms, nothing beats a powder cake here. Corn, honey, and two twigs for a food item that's gonna last you thousands upon thousands of days. And a bait that will indeed work on the likes of these walking Thanksgiving dinners. So have fun and make notes. But there you have it, everyone. A pseudo gobbler guide revisit of sorts put forth by one of you actually. So thank you, The Rack, for your contribution to the channel as a whole. And thank you very much for sharing these new farm ideas that I can see changing up the formula a bit. I can certainly see myself changing the way I plan out my own turkey dinners after today. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to all. Good luck building your own. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.